Why hot chicks never drive crappy cars. Okay, so first off, like, chicks want to show off that they're rich and stuff like that. And most of them aren't going to be caught dead in some clunker junker. I mean, they would rather walk than be seen in some crappy car from, like, 2007 or something like that. They got to be in the brand new crap. They got to be in a Mercedes or, you know, like an Audi or whatever the freak, a Cadillac. I don't know what's big these days or what they spend $60,000 on a car on. But they're not going to be driving around in a $10,000 used car. And the reason why they do that is because they don't want to bring down their overall projected social mating value. There was actually this really smoking hot chick that I worked with back in the day. And she had a crappy car. It was a total embarrassment to her. And you know dang well she was embarrassed by it. Because this is what she would do. She would park it way in the back corner. In fact, it was a separate parking lot from the actual place that we worked at. It was a whole other parking lot and she walked over. That's how embarrassed they are by their cars. Because, I don't know, in a chick's brain you get judged by your car. And that's how they think. And, you know, if, if somebody sees her driving that piece of crap, they're going to come up to her and be like, Hey, you're a damsel in distress or whatever. I'm going to start hitting on you. Hey, what you doing tonight, baby? You know what I mean? Because they don't want to look like they're desperate for money. So that's another big thing right there. Oh yeah, look at this right here. So I guess like some chicks try to pretend like it's their style to have something retro. And they have like this old beat up truck like this. And then they get a bunch of clothes from the thrift store. And they'll be like, well this is just my style. I like the retro stuff. And I got this old beat up truck. And I did this on purpose. But in reality, like they can't afford it and they're low on funds and they work in a warehouse and they don't have any money, right? I know these other chicks and they're totally, they think that their sheet don't stink and they will not drive anything older than three years. So every three years they gotta turn it in and get a brand new car. That's how they are and I don't know, it's just, uh, that's their state of mind. They think that, you know, dudes are gonna be judging them other chicks are gonna see them pass by in a car that's 10 years old and be like, Oh my god, Becky, look at her car. She is so poor. What a disgrace to the female population she is. I, I guess that's what they think, but I'm just telling you right now, like most dudes, if they can find a 10 year car, or 15 years old, or whatever, and it still runs, heck, we're gonna be riding that baby. We don't care. We don't give a freak. Say if the chick did have a car and it was all beat up and stuff, she would rather walk. She don't want to be seen in it. I mean, every once in a while, you might see some country chick, you know, like wearing boots and she's got like cut off jeans and she's driving an old Chevy, like a truck from like the 80s or maybe like the 60s or something like that. But what they try to do is they try to make it look like it was intentional. Like they were doing that on purpose. Because they don't want you to think less of them because they're driving an old truck or an old car, you know. Most chicks would rather walk than be caught dead in some car that was like 15 years old or something like that. I mean, just the other day, like, I saw this chick, she drove this crappy car. It was like a 2001 something, like a Toyota whatever, uh, a, a Yaris or I don't know, something like that. It had a bunch of stickers, it had no rims. It was all beat up and dented, and when I saw the car, I thought to myself, well, there's somebody poor right there. <laughs> what a crappy car. It must be like a, an illegal or something like that. And then out walked this really smoking hot chick, and I was like, really? And at that point, when I saw her, I felt the need to like hit on her because I felt like she was, I don't know, like I had to rescue her or something like that. So that's the whole reason. They don't want you hitting on them, so they gotta drive in something nice to intimidate you and stuff like that. Because they don't want dudes like average Joes like me hitting on them. But, uh, yeah. Crazy stuff right there. That's their little philosophy in driving nice cars and crap like that. They'd rather walk than be caught dead in something old. Go MGTOW.